So David Rico is a renowned expert in IT, um, investment analysis, portfolio valuation, and organization change. He has worked as a leader in support of NASA, US Army, US Air Force, and um, US Navy for over 30 years, leading over 30 change initiatives and capturing 1.5 billion in agile contracts. He's a four-time international keynote speaker, and the poll that he has prepared for us says my customer or firm or organization is planning to use DevOps, currently using DevOps, don't know if we're using DevOps or are not planning to use DevOps at all. So please take a moment to put your answer in and I'll read our results. 39% of us say that we are planning to use DevOps, 37% say that we're currently using DevOps, 19% don't know, and 6% say they are not planning. And Dave, take it away. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Can you hear me? I can. Oh, great, great. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about uh, DevOps and continuous deployment today. Definitely get a hold of the slides. I, I hope we can make it all the way through, but uh, we, we may not. Uh, I think Elizabeth did a good job of introducing me. I don't have to say too much more other than I've been about 35 years in the public sector, mostly on the aerospace and the DOD side. I've been in the intelligence community for about 15 years now. I'm in one of the uh, the 16 or 17 IC uh, agencies now, been there for about 15 years. We're one of the big four. Well, uh, we have about a $4 billion annual IT budget. Uh, we're, we're currently undergoing our, our largest reorganization in our 60 year history. We have about, we're trying to consolidate about 300 acquisitions, 1,500 new systems per year into our portfolio of about 12,000 fielded legacy systems. I'm part of the team that's sort of automating, you know, the governance for, for integrating the entire portfolio into one big hole. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and continue on. I think, that in my opinion, one of the, the greatest, you know, motivators for the use of things like Lean and Agile, and especially DevOps now, is, is really the, the subject of scale. Right, I think we have unprecedented scale in, in the early 21st century. As you see from this slide, we, we, of the seven billion people in the world, nearly four billion of them have active cell phone, you know, subscriptions. If you've seen the headlines, I believe it was uh, Facebook said they they now have about two billion active users. So so gone are the days when we develop systems for a few hundred or a few thousand users. We, we now have to be able to develop system for, systems for millions and billions of users, even if you're in the public sector. You know, I heard somebody say there was a county government that had a million users of their, of their systems. I just listened to a great IRS talk where they use Scrum to, to uh, deploy, rapidly deploy a system for collecting revenues. That is, where people could file their tax returns online. And they didn't realize that what happened was within, uh, after they deployed the system, within a few weeks, they actually had $150 million in new deposits. They didn't understand that just automating the tax return process would actually uh, increase their revenues very, very quickly. So really scale, so we, we have this, this challenge is, is the IT community, this public sector, to, to develop systems for, for millions and billions of uh, users and do it quickly and, and cost effectively and fix our mistakes when, 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 we, ha when we cause them because we're humans and, and we make mistakes, uh, right? So I, I really like this slide here. If you think of DevOps and Scotty from, from Star Trek here, you know, Scotty might say something like, we're gonna need some really big warp engines to move the enterprise at the speed of light. And that's what we were really talking about at DevOps. We're, we're scaling up our public sector enterprises to millions and billions of users. And we have to, like the IRS, de deploy new systems using lean and agile method to, to tens of millions of people. We have to do it quickly. And we have to be prepared for the results to fix our mistakes and, and to collect those revenues. When we can, right? So, so DevOps is, is one of many tools and techniques and, and value systems and principles that to help us do that, to help us scale our IT systems, especially in the public sector, not just in the private sector, 
not just of your Google, your Yahoo, your Facebook, your, your eBay or Etsy or someone like that, but if you're a public sector agency like the IRS or the DHS or, or, or even in, in the intelligence community like us, right? So we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this slide, but, but we see that, that, that DevOps is, is really sort of an early iterative and automated combination of, of development and operations. People have said that, right? So what we want to do is we want to integrate the work of development and, and, and operations into one whole, the governance, the processes, the tools. So, so what we sort of kind of created division in this community, you know, what really is DevOps? Is DevOps the collaboration of development and operations or is it the automation of development and operations? And, and I think the answer is yes, it's, it's both of those. And, and I think what, what DevOps, people forget about this is it, in, it incorporates concepts of lean and, and even agile methods. Right. Okay. And when we do this, when, we, when we're able to, to collaborate and work in teams and use lean and agile principles like Scrum and, and iteratively develop our, our, our system to sort of eat the elephant of complexity one by the time and respond to change and do the continuous improvement in our retrospectives, where we can really see the benefits of, of process improvement. Uh, and when we do those things, we, we get really, really great you know, benefits like business value. We can, we can operate the federal government the more cost effectively, our acquisitions will be, you know, more successful and, and we'll be able to, to benefit the, the taxpayers and the, and the public at, at large, right? And, and so we'll, we'll be able to uh, enable both the buyers, that is the government, as well as the suppliers, that is the contractor community to collaborate together, you know, to, to scale our, our, our agencies you know, globally. And that's what we're really trying to do. So let's, let's kind of go beneath the covers and, and kind of see what's, what's happening inside the box and see how DevOps works. You know, it really is in, the, in both the lean and agile DevOps community, it's really about sort of in, you know, implementing our requirements in slices versus layers, right? Instead of developing you know, large monolithic systems that take years and decades, I believe the, the, the average length of time of an IT project in the public sector is about 80 months, right? But what we want to do is we want to speed that up to, to weeks and days and hours. We want to be able to, de to develop and deliver and support our systems in weeks and days and hours. And, and when we can do that, right, there, there are a, a lot of benefits. I, I want to talk about all of them. Well, it's faster and we, we get the benefits and it's more cost effective. And, and it's quality. And when we, when we don't do that, when we develop systems in a traditional way, well, why they're late, they take a long time, and, and the value is very bad, and the cost overruns or, or you know, pile up as well. And, and we see that in the statistics. I, I like the cumulative workflow diagram from the lean community. So when we try to implement extremely complex systems, really, really bad things happen, right? They, they sort of kind of bog down, they slow down, productivity kind of slows down, uh, costs sort of increase, defects sort of increase, and customer satisfaction decreases, and, and contract cancellation also decreases as well. Right? But what we, what we know is when we start eating the elephant one bite at a time using you know, lean and agile principles like one, one, piece, one piece workflow, well, the productivity starts to speed up. Right. When we reduce the complexity of our processes and our products and our team size, well, we actually see lots of benefits happen. Like we, we get you know, products out the door faster, better products, and, and we kind of burn down the requirements backlog. Right. And we use, there's lots of tools in the toolbox to help us you know, do these things, achieve these goals. These are just some of them, they're not all of them. We, we use things like continuous integration. Remember we talked about one piece workflow where the developers sort of kind of pull the user stories off our, our Scrum backlogs. They, they sort of design our, our user stories one at a time. They, they check them into the version control servers and, and obviously they have to write the test and, and we, we automatically run the test. And if that code, if, that, if the code that satisfies that user story passes all of its functional and non-functional tests, right? 
we just ship it out to the users, right? All million or billion of them, right? And, and, and if it's wrong, well, we have to sort of kind of recall it and, and fix it and start again. And, and DevOps allows us to move back and forth from our backlogs to, to our users very, very quickly. And we see that sort of on this diagram too, right? Where, where DevOps is sort of a continuum of, of ideas like source code control and, and build automation and, and test automation and, and continuous integration as we just saw in the, the last slide. But it also includes these, these latter parts, right? It's the, the release automation and the continuous delivery. And of course, going back to that collaboration, if we're going to you know, sort of integrate if, if, if we want our developers to be able to, to pull our user stories off the backlog one at a time, code them and test them and deploy them and recall them, there, there has to be collaboration, you know, not, not just from the development people and the operations, but the civilians and the contractors if contractors are involved. In, in the case of the IRS, my, my friends there tell me that, that only civilians develop their, their IRS code. So. Uh, that would not include too much contractor civilian collaboration but in our agency where, where contractors are, are are very intimately involved in development you know i just can't say enough about the, the the need for collaboration between buyers and suppliers and we see that on this popular slide people often define you know devops as as the collaboration of the development and the the IT operations community. And you know, we see the terms again, agile development like Scrum and, and continuous integration and continuous delivery and, and so forth and so on. Okay. And, and when we do the things on the last three or four slides, right, we, we sort of kind of get really, really great benefits. We, we know from the statistics that a basic Scrum team is about five to 10 times faster than a traditional team, especially in the public sector, right? But when we start using things like continuous integration and continuous and delivery and even DevOps, things start speeding up tremendously. Now we, we start moving to about you know, five releases per day, right? Instead of one release every 80 months, which is the average for the public sector of an IT system. And when you get really, really good, like a Facebook, right? You're, you're doing about 50, releases per day and once you sort of kind of get up to the to the power user level like a google or an amazon now now you're running millions of tests and doing hundreds of thousands of releases per day so i, I don't want to set the bar too high i don't think everybody has to be like google or amazon and you might not even have to be as good as a as a blackboard or or, or facebook but I think we could do a lot better than one release every 80 months. If we can get to the point where we're doing about two to three releases per day, I think you're doing pretty darn good. And we see that in the Hewlett Packard statistics, right? Where they, they were able to, to use these techniques to increase their productivity, but, but not just increase their productivity, and reduce their costs. They were able to take all those cost savings from using continuous integration delivery in DevOps and take 80% of their resources and put it into new product development. That is, they were able to reduce their development and their operations cost to the point where they could innovate very, very quickly. And we see the same thing at Blackboard, right? What happened was they were trying to integrate all of their products into one massive code base, right? In about 2010, their productivity stopped. And when they broke their product line into microservices and, and started using DevOps, well, not only did their productivity increase, but, but their, uh, their innovation did as well. 